What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here with my reaction to episode 418. Now I watched 416 and 17 off screen as they were fillers just kind of following Obito and Kakashi from when they were a little bit younger. There was a couple of details towards the end of 417 that kind of went back to the main story. Now I don't know if it's gonna just recap what happened at the end there or if that is technically filler and it never happened or I don't know how this show works sometimes like sometimes you'll watch a filler episode and then it will never be referenced and then other times it turns out it was like a mix between a filler and the main stuff yeah it's a bit complicated sometimes so at the end of 417 Obito actually went into like the dimension or limbo whatever you want to call it where Naruto and Sakura are and Guy actually joined the fight and is now with Kakashi so I don't know if it's gonna show us that again just now I guess we'll have to wait and see don't forget though if you want to watch the patreon style version of this video to head on over to my website suzilu.co.uk and also please feel free to hit me up over on my twitter and my instagram as well all the links you need are below the video all right let's do this I just don't know who that is that is standing next to Sasuke. There's part of me that feels like it's Kabuto, but I got no idea. This chocolate has a real nasty feel to it. But then, does Kabuto have a real nasty feel to him anymore? Like, I don't feel like he does, so maybe I'm just totally wrong. If you don't pace yourself, you're going to collapse. Karin's gonna snap anyway. At youth power max. Lee, tension! Sasuke! Ah, I told you guys! Uh, who's that guy? Hey, you! I don't know who the hell you are, but what do you think you're doing? What a freaking guess! Oh, I see. So that's what's up. Huh? Ah, so it was you, Kabuto. Oh my god, I can't believe I scored that one! Wait, that's Kabuto? But his chuck was different. His appearance, too. Well, he did take into himself Sage Jutsu Chakra, as well as all sorts of other people's chakra. I can't blame you for not recognizing him, Kari. I wonder if his chakra feels nasty, because he still has some of my own chakra inside of him. Can I just ask, though, what are you doing to Sasuke, Kabuto? Look, Kabuto, you're not planning on trying to absorb Sasuke, are you? And would that make you Kabuke or Sasuto? <laughs> That's so irrelevant, sweet see? It's like he's putting something oh. in Sasuke. So you're the one who took down Sasuke? You're gonna pay! Uh. sweet I have no desire to do that anymore. Kari, I have no interest in trying to steal Sasuke either. Sasuke's chakra. I can just barely sense it. No way. Kabuto, you're helping Sasuke? That's right. With my medical ninjutsu and my Hashirama cells I've experimented on extensively, along with a certain someone's suggestion, I just managed to stop him from dying. And there we have it. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way that Kabuto of all people is the one that saves Sasuke. Your presence here must mean that you were somehow able to escape the endless loop set up by Itachi's Izanami. Isn't that right? Yeah, I was gonna say, actually, that must mean that he's atoned. So let me get this straight. Orochimaru is now good and Kabuto is about to be good. I can't keep up. Just find other things and add them onto yourself from here on out. It's still not enough yet. This still isn't who I am. But through that jutsu, Itachi helped me realize that I am none other than Kabuto. Wasn't that guy still alive? It was ages ago they showed it, but he was like, Oh, I wonder if my brother will ever come home. Is he still alive? I don't remember. I now wish 
from the very bottom of my heart not to lose my home. And Itachi, who wanted to protect Sasuke even unto death, his feelings have pierced my heart quite strongly. Oh, Kabuto! I just can't believe all of this. Like, Itachi has done so much for everyone. Both Obito and I thought that we'd lost our place in this world, and we dragged everyone else into this. But now I know who I am and what I must do. Oh my gosh! Okay, go everybody team up and go kick Madara's ass. You won't make any difference now. That guy's Madara? Yes, that's him. Kakashi, are you all right? I am, thanks to Guy. No, not that part. I'm talking about my sage art Rasengan hitting you earlier. That was okay too. I teleported it with my Kamui just as it was making contact. See, my man always one step ahead. That would have done some serious damage to Kakashi though. So at this point in time, our only hope is the fourth Hokage sage jutsu in your taijutsu guy. <gasps> what? Oh my god, guy! Guy is useful now! It takes me too long to infuse the chakra, and I'm not able to maintain it for too long. I haven't used it much in real combat either. Plus, I can't weave signs at all right now, so I don't think I can fight effectively. And he's not exactly reanimating, you know what I mean? I don't think Minato will ever get his hands back at this point. So I guess now it's showtime for the wild blue beast, huh? Oh my god, guys, have we even had a moment with Guy kicking some main ass in the main story? Not for ages! About damn time! One gate short of the eighth gate of death, huh? He insults me. Not bringing out the red vapor. Well, we don't want him to actually die, Madara. It's not insulting. Why should he give his life for you? Yes, sir! Guys, master the eight inner gates. Those aren't human movements. Take this, Hirotora! Look at him go! Oh my god, Lee's gonna be like his number one cheerleader at the side. Come on, guy, you got this. If guy is the one that defeats Madara, I will just oh, it'll be so good, you guys. I use the flying Raijin to throw myself into the Black Spear's path. Kakashi, my kunai! Right. Ooh! That's Rock Lee. Oh, nice! Where is Den Den? She told me to go ahead because she wanted to check something out. I finally catch up to you and you launch the Hero Dora? Are you all right, guy? Yeah. Only my right arm and a few ribs are hurt. Come on, that can't be all that guy does. I need to see more. Our youth hasn't faded. Not yet, at least. Don't lose hope. Guy Sensei. It's true that not everything we wish for will come true. But things that we ought to do must always begin with a wish. Just like my challenges to you. <clears throat> Don't tell me. You. The Leaf's wild blue beast is no more. It's time for the red beast to emerge. No. No! No. Guy! Not the final gate of death. <sighs> Guy, you mustn't do it. Please, just think it over. Not a single person here wants you to do that. Not even your father would. I know, but I want to do it. Why do you want to do it? What about everyone else? Don't look at me like that, Lee. This time you sit back and enjoy the show. We're a lot of like you and I. There's no, you guys, no! We are not sacrificing Guy. There's no way! There's me like, oh, he finally gets a fight and all that, but he opens the eighth gate. 
Don't let anything steer you off the path you've drawn for yourself. Forge ahead to the end. Become strong so I can just sit back and enjoy the show. But you can sit back and enjoy the show if you're not here! Father... No! You guys, it's doing the whole, like, flashback thing as if I'm about to lose a character and I won't do it! No. No. Not him! Listen, son. Search to your heart's content. Uh, my name? It's not anywhere on the Academy entrance list, Papa! You just keep on looking, guy. You've worked hard and did everything that you could. There's no way that all that effort won't be rewarded. Those tears are probably just making your vision blurry. I bet you see your name soon. Oh, his dad is just like what guy is like to Lee. That kid just won't give up, will he? It's a very unsightly way to behave. Yeah, but his dad is kind of encouraging it anyway. Don't give up, you hear? Don't look away. You'll find it, you will. You can't stay there forever, do you know what I mean? If his name's not on the list, it's not on the list. For my papa who never gave up on me, I will get in. What was all that stuff he was talking about? Self-rule or something? <laughs> like you just decide something and it happens. I know that's how it happens in Sword Art, kinda. That may be true, but even so, he looks ready to drop. <laughs> what is it with kids being horrible to each other? It's like, you get one kid that's got the drive to go far, and everybody else just wants to beat them down all the time. Is it jealousy? Like, what is it? Like, oh look, someone fell over. It's like, well go encourage them then. Why is the first thing you want to do just laugh at them? I just don't understand people. Guy! Yeah, you fool! I'm, I'm sorry, Papa. I'm five already, but I can't even complete 500 laps yet. No, stop that. Don't apologize. That's not why I'm scolding you. Huh? Never apologize for trying hard. It's an insult to your determination, guy. Then why did... Because you're not using your self-rule in the right way. 500 laps will get you accepted into the academy. That is not a self-rule. That's only a wish and nothing more than that. I mean, he's not wrong. You running around the place isn't going to suddenly get you in, is it? Having applied that rule in the first place keeps you extremely disciplined and focused. And that is the way that a self-rule truly works. I'm so sorry, Papa. However, no one can find fault with your determination. Even if you only make it halfway, hard work is hard work, and for that you deserve a big ol' hug. I mean, that's it. It's like, as long as you are constantly working towards your goals, it doesn't matter how long it takes you, as long as it's one foot in front of the other every single day. Your youth has only just begun, do you hear me? Never turn your back on youth, just like me. The fact that you aren't able to use either ninjutsu or genjutsu actually pleases me as your papa. Huh? Knowing your shortcomings will highlight your strengths. Your taijutsu's already shining brilliantly in my eyes. I love this. Like, this is the encouragement that everybody needs. You know, don't focus on your weaknesses, and if you know your weaknesses, you can either fix them or you can focus on your strengths instead. It's brilliant. Those who are selfish are like cats. And hairy people? Um, they're like cats as well. <laughs> they're also like cats. Hey, so basically the guy, advice is everybody is a cat. Doing? Playing at training with your kid again? You work hard for an eternal gaming. <laughs> Sure thing. Wow, so it's not even just like kids that are assholes. It's the older guys as well. What is with people? And who's the one fighting that in the war now, huh? Guy is. That young at his age? <laughs> Ow. What's that for? Hey, if it isn't Dai's brat, what do you think you're doing? Don't make fun of my papa. Look, kid, I only spoke the truth. Say stuff about my papa and I'll punch you five times. That's my self-rule! Huh? Your self-rule? I'd like to see that. 
Everyone says he's more of a comedian than he is a genie. <laughs> and he's a comedian whose jokes about youth aren't funny. <laughs> oh yeah, and what do you guys accomplish in your life? Because I haven't heard of you. Shoot 20 times instead. What? You punched a kid? <laughs> Wow. Wow. These guys are beyond disgusting. Yes, Kikashi. Thank you. Dishonorable and disgusting. I can't believe that you couldn't return a single punch after what they said about your father. I mean, thanks, Kakashi, I guess. Just rub it in a bit more. It's funny, though, that it was Kakashi beating up the older guys when Kakashi's dad could have done it instead, but... Okay. No, oh, I want to cry. I literally want to cry, because if I know... Wait, is that still going? No, that's the outro. I was like, what, what, what? Um, if I know... Shippuden, the fact that suddenly Guy has announced that he's gonna do a move that we have been told if he does that he will die. Everyone's freaking out. I'm freaking out. And now suddenly I'm getting a backstory on Guy. It's like, it's trying to kill me, isn't it? It's trying to kill me because it knows how I feel about Guy. <sighs> I no. No. I don't know why, but I thought we were kind of done. I know we're coming to the end, but I kind of felt like after Neji, the, there was a vibe where it's like, nah, I think we're going to be fine now, and I think pretty much everyone's going to survive, and it's going to be great. But now you've thrown this bombshell on me. And you know what I do like, though? I like the fact that everybody has had such an opinion on the lack of skills that people like Guy and Lee have. But yet now we're coming towards like the end of the war and who are the only people that can actually help? Guy Sensei and probably Lee as well. So there you have it, you guys. Just because you think you know everything doesn't mean that you can actually achieve everything. Wise words from Susie like me. <laughs> oh, I just, I don't want this to be. It's almost Christmas. Come on, positive vibes. Uh, well, it's almost Christmas, but it's not a Toshibuden, so what can I say? All right, you guys, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.